Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, here we go. Let's do a take two on that seven day forecast. Just a couple of minutes. You can hear the rain if you're outside across parts of downtown Eugene. Got a nice little batch of showers moving overhead. I'll show you what it looks like on the radar here in just a second. But first, let's take a live look outside and show you things still a little on the wet side, although uh, we haven't picked up a whole lot of rain today officially at the bucket. As you can tell, it is raining out there right now. We're at around 57 degrees. West-northwest winds around 6 miles an hour. Humidity at 89%. Uh, pressure has been uh, sitting relatively close to around 30 inches, which uh, has been rising and falling throughout the days. We've had the front move on through. There is that little batch of moisture. And again, you can see the darker greens indicates the heavier showers. We heard it on top of the roof here just a second ago as it's working its way through. And then as you go north up towards Marcola, same thing, and then down towards Pleasant Hill, also looking another slight shower chance. So let's put things into motion here on the storm track. Over the next two to three hours, we'll continue to see some scattered showers rebuild as the front itself is basically oriented right over top of western Oregon. Now, that'll help because it's sort of uh, is a bit of a trigger point, if you want to think of it that way, as that continues to slide in, pulling in the moisture out of the south and southwest, and that'll keep at least regeneration of some showers as we head into the rest of this evening. But we'll slowly start to taper that off, uh, hopefully get to a bit of a drier start, not necessarily finish, but a drier start as we head towards our Wednesday. Right now, now we're at 57 degrees in both uh, Corvallis and Eugene. We've been holding at those temperatures for about two to three hours now. Same thing down to Roseburg in the mid 60s, low 60s out towards North Bend, upper 50s as you get out to the coast and cooler than that, upper 40s out in Sun River. Stormcast as we roll in through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow morning. I do think we'll be mostly cloudy, but we should be rain free by your morning commute and through the afternoon. That's the good news. Start to see uh, that front lift northward again as we head into late tomorrow evening and we'll start to bring more rain back by late tomorrow night. Rainfall totals not that impressive. The big winter out to Florence at about a half an inch will be adding to this as that next batch moves on through and highs today on the cool side as well. With the exception of Roseburg, you can see the influence of a little bit of a break in the clouds and those south southwesterly winds keeping the temperatures in the upper 60s. Well, pop down into the low 50s for tonight. I'm going to keep a mention of a few isolated showers, mainly for the early part of the evening. As this front continues to slide on through, we've got more moisture building in behind this. And so even though that'll stall out just a bit, we'll see that lift northward as it gets a little bit of an extra kick from the next low that moves on through. And it looks like that is going to continue on for our spooky forecast as we head in towards Friday. We'll be looking at rain showers, temperatures generally dripping, uh, dipping down, I should say. It'll be dripping as well into the mid to low 50s as we head in towards Friday evening. So keep that in mind for uh, all of the costumes. Okay, so showers mostly cloudy for tomorrow at the coast. Low 60s, probably about the best we can do. It'll be a bit warmer than that, probably similar to today. Upper 60s, morning clouds. PM, we're talking late PM showers for the Umpqua. The Cascades will likely see the same thing. They'll get a little breezy as the next front starts to approach. Low 60s-ish get into the foothills. Upper 50s, mostly cloudy, isolated late evening showers across uh, Central Oregon and here in the Willamette Valley will go around 64 for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies. Might see some breaks of uh, clouds and a little bit of sun in there as well, but it will stay wet. Same thing for the coast. All the trick-or-treaters probably going to have to dodge plenty of showers on Friday and then same thing Saturday and into the weekend. The Umpqua, same story. Upper 60s tomorrow. Cooler as we get into the weekend forecast and we'll keep those shower chances around. And here in the Willamette Valley, we will also be looking at a fairly wet seven-day forecast. And don't forget, you'll get to enjoy another hour of sleep in that wet weather as you turn your clocks back going in towards Saturday to Sunday. So cute that you think we're going to yeah, forget. Exactly. <laughs>